Hey guys, Chris here again with Project Nerf, and today we're going to be taking a look at a sweet new blaster from my 3D base, the NG2 Pathfinder. Let's do it! Alright guys, so uh, let's have a good look at this. Now if you're not familiar with my 3D base, I'm going to put a link uh, to his YouTube page, and uh, you can go to his website from there and check that out. Chris is a great guy. They're over in Germany, and they do some really, really great 3D printing work. So I'm going to put that little link right up here in the corner. Remember to check them out. So if you remember my review of the NG2 Goblin, uh, which looks almost identical to this, here it is. The Goblin is a semi-auto, flywheel-powered, talon meg very, very compact pseudo-primary blaster. And as you can see by looking at them, uh, the mold is not that different. The big difference between the two is that the Pathfinder is full auto. And uh, I've got some numbers for you uh, based on uh, Kristen's website. Uh, it's Nominal FPS is 110, uh, which should be about right. Uh, we got 130-ish off the Goblin. Uh, which is semi-auto, uh, so you don't have quite the sag or the uh, the drag down on the flywheels uh, of full auto. And this is a very, very quick blaster. It's advertised as a rate of fire of 900 rounds a minute, guys. That's about 15 darts a second. Um, and it's just really, really, really a nice package. Feels great in your hands. You can see here the 3D printing here is just very nice. Um, and now what we've got here, this is a safety, okay, which in the up position stops you from pulling the trigger. Um, which is very good because this is a two-stage trigger uh, instead of having the red trigger like the Goblin. As you can see here, rev trigger and then pew pew with the very, very smooth mechanical semi-auto. The Pathfinder is a two-stage, again, full auto, so it's a little bit to turn on and then boom. And oh my goodness, guys, does it go. Uh... For size, you can see, again, they're very, very comparable. In fact, the front end, I know for a fact, uh, per Chris, is identical. It's the same front end, so you're running the same flywheels, same FK180 motors. And uh, the extra size here, which is not really that much, it's a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. But the Pathfinder is just a hair longer and just a tiny, tiny bit taller through this region of the blaster right here. And that's to house all of the great full auto components in it. It also has a very, very nice battery indicator on the back, which is super cool, especially on a LiPo powered blaster. So uh, without any more uh, chatting it up or gilding the lily, let's uh, throw a battery in this thing and see what it does. All right, so to install the battery in the blaster, this whole rear panel lifts up and it's uh, just a friction fit. It's got two small pegs here on the end that slot up back there. And uh, hopefully you can see it well here, guys. It's got a pretty generous uh, battery tray. This is an 800 mAh 65C uh, giant power, and that drops right in there. No problem. Uh, I know for a fact it will easily take the 950 mAh uh, out of darts uh, battery. And you can see nice, bright battery display there. And yes, I have the safety on because I'm kind of pointing it at myself here. And note I'm not near the trigger. Um, so anyway, let's see, uh, let's see what this thing does. Guess it would help if we put our talon mag in, wouldn't it? Um, so here we go. Oh yeah, that thing is definitely a screamer. Um, hang on, we've got another talon mag around here. That is so sweet. Um, it's a two-stage trigger. Now the first thing that I'm noticing, this is my first time firing it, I just got it today, I wanted to get a review out to you guys, is that this trigger is a very, very short pull uh, between the stages. It's, see if I can go really slow and... Just after the and then... And that was the, the full talent mag right there, guys. I hope you got that. Holy cow, it's so fast, but it's... But it's such a nice, quiet little blaster. It feels very balanced. It's not doesn't vibrate too badly. Um, let's see uh, what it can do for that rate of fire. It looks great. Um, 
So they're advertising approximately 900 rounds a minute, so we should expect to see 13 plus uh, darts a second on that. So I'm going to reload my bags here, and then uh, we'll shoot it at a target and see if we can get a rate of fire on it. All right, we've got it uh, loaded back up here, so there's 15 in this Talon mag. Uh, let's uh, see what it does. P.S. This could get a little loud for you headphone guys. <coughs> Empty Talon mag, and that was uh, pretty quick, guys, but I think we got good enough footage here to uh, play it back and get you an estimate rate of fire. Uh, yeah, guys, how about that rate of fire? Uh, holy cow, this blaster is fast, and it is a ton of fun to shoot. The fit on the magwell is absolutely wonderful, just like the uh, goblet. I raved about that in my goblet review. As you can see, again, I ordered it. Those of you who have been with me a while, uh, black and silver. That's what I get all of my uh, third-party stuff done up in. Um, so, yeah, the fit on the magwell is great. Um... The voltmeter is nice and bright and shows well. It's got the nice little top rail on there. If you wanted to put a little optic, you could. Um, and this thing is so close to just being a holsterable sidearm. If you look at the size of it uh, as compared to, say, a hammer shot, and this is a, maybe a bad example. Here's Widowmaker. It's been my reliable sidearm for a long, long time, guys. You can see that the, uh, the profile of these... Um, is not that dissimilar. You could uh, really, really come very, very, very close to holstering this, especially if you made like a uh, little uh, cut-down version of this Talon mag, something that held maybe six. That would say come down to maybe here where my finger's at. Just a little short mag so that you could just pull from the holster and pfft, full auto really, really quickly. I think it would be a very, very serviceable sidearm. Then you could carry a couple of your big Talons uh, in your gear somewhere and have all kinds of just gravy goodness. You know, it's a primary worthy sidearm. That's just fantastic. Um, do I have any complaints about the blaster? No, not really. Uh, my biggest complaint, and that's just, just to nitpick because I have to try to find something about everything. Uh, you know, that's what, that's what we do here, um, is the twin stage trigger. Um, if you know, on the Goblin, lots of room in that handle to put a rev button, and I think that would have been a little more familiar, um, but it is less comfortable. Uh, so, while this handle is uh, perhaps a bit wider, and maybe not, uh, than the Goblin, uh, it with the printing here for your fingers here is so good. You can see how very, very nicely my hand fits that. So nice. Um, so it's very, very comfortable. The two straight day trigger is a very, very short pull. And that is probably my only thing that I can even complain about with this blaster. It's so well done. It, um, it's just super. I, I really, 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 really like it. Uh, the price point, I think it's a good buy. Um, shipped to the States. I bought this, uh, online from the website, uh, is about 160 US dollars. Uh, so, uh, it's a little bit pricey, but being a modder and knowing what goes into full auto blasters that perform like this one does, uh, I don't see that to be outlandish at all. Uh, by the time you buy a Strife and then upgrade it to 180 motors and upgraded flywheels and, uh, you know, a full auto kit from Worker or XSW and do the rewire yourself and, you know, clean out the battery tray to make a lipo area for a lipo, um, and which you've got a great blaster and in some ways even superior I suppose to this one but uh, it's also bigger bulkier um, and you know, honestly to me a stripe just doesn't feel as nice in my hand this feels very very comfortable it feels like a pistol even though it is a very primary worthy blaster uh, so uh, yeah guys I'm gonna put the all the information that you need to go on my 3 d basis website and uh, check one out for yourself. They print them in a variety of colors. I think they can do pretty much anything you want. Black and silver was obviously no problem. Chris over there is a fantastic guy to work with, so uh, you know, definitely get in contact with him and get a Pathfinder for yourself. Guys, remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that notifications button. Till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerve saying have a blast.